Welcome to Simply Fishing Extreme, brought to you by Evernote E-Tech, spend more time on the water. Arden Reels, rule the water, made in the USA. Simply Fishing Extreme Marine, doing more than just keeping you afloat. Element 21 and the revolutionary carrot stick rods. Find Nissan of Maplewood, where elegance and dependability meet. Pose, maker of the Awaker, the Giant Jackpot, and the Havana Jack. I'm Bob Mesa Cromer, your host, and I'd personally like to welcome you to the first cast of the rest of your life. Your next monster is only one cast away. And by 18 Tackle, where Marabou and Mylar meet teeth. And now, let's meet the extreme team. Bill, Fonda, Jason, Uncle Bud, Tracy, Chad, and Mike are the extreme team. Please sit back and enjoy this edition of Simply Fishing Extreme. Bob Mesocomer here. Welcome back to this, the second installment of my adventure on Stork Lake with Bobby Stevens. Last week you saw a number of fish ranging from the early 40s to the upper mid 40s, but no 50s. Well, they don't grow on trees, folks, and in fact, they grow very slowly in these northern waters. Stork Lake Lodge resides on the shores of the southern portion of what is known as the Long-Legged Lake System. It is the darker of the two divides and offers, in my opinion, the best options for greater success when it comes to muskies. Later this season, we'll show you some of the insane walleye fishing that takes place on this lake. When I say insane, remember this is coming from a muskie fisherman, someone who might think of walleyes as being, well, food for something else. You get the picture. Abundant food, remote waters, and very low pressure all add up to monsters if given the chance. Come on aboard now as we look for some of these very monsters here at Stork Lake Lodge with Bobby Stevens. Well, you know, Bob, you can't always select the fish you want to catch. <laughs> that may be true, Jody, but you can select the lake in which you fish them. Yes, you can. Much bigger. Double nickels. Double nickels. We're both throwing probably the one of the deadliest topwater baits on the planet. Yeah, no kidding. The guy who designed these must have known what he was doing. <laughs> when I first designed this lure back in the early 80s, I had no idea that it would eventually account for more than half of the 50-inch class fish I have caught to date. Not to mention countless other anglers who have accomplished their 50-inch benchmark as well. Yeah. <laughs> or for that matter, a few of them. One that comes to mind is Bruce Spanis of Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. The day he caught his first 50, yeah, or should I, I say 52 and a half, was a sight to behold. His monster literally came out of the water and nearly into the boat as she inhaled his posed giant jackpot, only a couple of feet off the transom. Yes, it was. All day. This is about the only opportunity we're going to have. The edge says this is the bite window. So well, if you it can, was dead nuts. If you can believe it, you know. <laughs> well, that first place we shut down, those fish that came out of that weed bed, yep. they were over the top serious. Mm -hmm. And we find ourselves out here working 12, 14 foot deep. We're on the outside of the weed line throwing up over the top of it. Yep. 
Then there is Sunny Fenton. You're throwing a Havana, What an angler. Right? Yep. At last count, I had five photos of her with 50-inch-plus fish, all taken on Poe's giant jackpots. There was a day on the water when I pulled up to Kurt and his daughter, Sonny Fenton, and I couldn't help but laugh. He had a number of rods on the deck. Every rod was exactly the same. They all had the same lures on each rod with the exception of colors. In the back of his boat was Sonny's, and she had three, and I could see the same lure on hers. They all had posed giant jackpots hanging on them. I couldn't help but ask why. <laughs> the answer was crisp and quick. Kurt laughed and looked right at me and said, hey, if they don't want to eat a giant jackpot, then they're not worth catching. Trust me, this scenario has been expressed to me many times on the water and at shows. The next time you're in need of a real adrenaline fix, just start throwing the pose giant jackpot or Havana Jack. And remember, if it's not a pose, it's a copy. And there are no good copies of the original pose giant jackpot. Under these conditions, Bobby and I found ourselves campaigning large submerged weed beds. They comprise, for the most part, completely of cabbage. The cabbage offered the predator, in this case, the muskie, a great source of cover and protection. The cover aided in their ambush efforts, as well as blocking the bright daylight skies. During these periods, the fish will crawl into these areas, and as the day part nears the end, they'll sense a physiological need, and that need is to feed. Quiet water, slightly warming trends provided by the sun's brightness, and 30 minutes to darkness, that's the formula for a jackpot. And it's a jackpot success every time. Here comes one. Not much of a hook set. Thinks he found a little iron that time. <laughs> <laughs> She's about 40, what, six or seven? Oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> what, nice she is, what she is is really mad. It might be longer than that. <laughs> Look at that jackpot, though. Okay, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the net real quick. All right. Why don't you just sit down and sink there? There you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. She's better than that, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think she is? I'll take a guess, 47 and a half. 47 and a half. <laughs> She's up there someplace. Boy, she got some air. Yeah, she did. Should we see her real quick? Yeah. She ain't gonna like this, you know. Not at all. <laughs> That's a shot. See, she doesn't have the head. Yep. That it takes to get 50. Yep. But she's long. That she is. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm going to get her back though. She's really tightening up. Should we? Should we? Should we? Stay there, girl. Stay there. Stay there. Bob Mesacoma here for Klein Nissan. Whether you're headed to the backcountry in search of your favorite fishing hole or cruising down the back roads taking in the scenery along the way, you can always depend on your Klein Nissan. Elegance and dependability don't stop because the blacktop does. 
Take your pride and joy to the water in a Klein Nissan. Give them a call at 651-379-4300 or visit them at KleinNissan.com. Your cabbage is a little different than the rock. Yeah. You gotta work them out of there, I think. Mm hmm. A lot of wind at our backs. Yeah. The pursuit of these fish is indeed the pursuit of happiness. However, it doesn't come without sacrifice and a lot of hard work. In some cases, simply making the right choices will prove success. I generally don't do what we're doing right now and that is drifting out of control. If a fish were to have followed, we'd have to either drift over her and reapproach, or hit the trolling motor in hopes of slowing the drift enough to work the fish. Neither is as productive as doing it properly and that means fishing into the wind in the first place. But, that being said, I was connecting with more fish than Bobby, and instead of moving the boat forward into the wind, I declined and decided to square the boat off, offering both of us even exposure to unfished waters. The weed bed we were fishing is large, a very large weed bed adjacent to a perfect point. All we needed to do was see if one was in it oh, and willing to eat. We both banana. chose blade baits. Bobby was throwing his favorite, and I chose an AK series from A-Team. <laughs> but, would that be enough? The question is, were they there and what were they willing to eat? Where's my Havana? Jesus, how many words have I got in there?
Here comes one. Got him! Nice fish. Don't think she's hooked all that well. Bring her on this side. I don't know where she's going. All right. She's high 40s. Now we just fished all the way through that with blades. All right, bring her back around. Yeah. Skinny. Big head, but skinny. She won't back up. Her head first. I'll bring her around. <sighs> we fished all the way across that, throwing single blades and double blades and not a single solitary fish pulled out of there. I dug out a Havana out of this thing. I came right back across. I think I made one cast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she's not very heavy, but she's long. Those Havanas are yeah. just awesome when the wind's blowing yeah. and you, can't, you really can't work a jackpot. It's just too much wave activity. Yeah, she got a big head. She's not that terribly big. Careful now. She's kind of skinny. About 45, 46. Yeah. I'm gonna get her back though. Oh, that boat is slippery. Introducing the Hit Squad from 18 Tackle, featuring a full line of revolutionary new blade baits. The Aggressor X with its incredible Vortex, Avenger X featuring .061 wire and dual Vortex blades, and the all-new revolutionary Assassin X. Hit them where it hurts with blade baits from 18 Tackle, a revolutionary new concept in spinner baits and bucktails. Visit us at www.18tackle.com today and see the entire line. Order yours today and join the 18. Simply call 1-800-222-8775. You can throw a Havana a couple feet. <laughs> I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little on the bright side. Neon. There's cabbage underneath us, so we'll work this outside perimeter. Yep. And then we'll go down that deep side right up to the edge. All right. I want to bring some baits off. See where the wind is blowing right up on top of it? Yep. Doesn't seem like much, but that's a little bit of wave action blowing up in there. Quite a bit of cabbage down there. Yeah, there is. Big stalks. I mean, they're just massive. It's beautiful. It's amazing how much rock and weed there is underneath the surface you can't see. Some of these big weed stalks of cabbage look yeah. like muskies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Especially if you just saw one or something. Yeah. Then you get paranoid. <laughs> Once we clear this rock, we're going to go around here. All right. They don't seem to be using these rocks. The ones offshore. Yeah. We haven't seen a fish yet on them, have we? Oh, just that one on Lana's. Yeah. But other than that, that's about the extent. Wind caught it. Wanted to be closer. Just 
tough work. Huh? So this is tough work. What time is it? What time is it? Yeah. Do you have the time on here anymore? Then after four. Ooh, fish. Stay with it. Good one. Oh, it's a good one. Good one, good one, good one. Stay with it. On that aggressor. Ugh. She's coming around to you, Bob. Okay. Nice fish. She's not ready. No, she's not. Take your time, take your time. She's not ready. No, she's not ready. Too much power there still. Yeah. Watch how you turn her. Okay, good. Watch from the experts. If she's high in the column, so keep her coming. She didn't like that. No, not at all. All righty. Woo! Nice fish. I was beginning to doubt myself. <laughs> Oof. Let her let her do that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really care. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a 50. <laughs> if it ain't a 50, it's within a half inch. Oh man. Pretty thick too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice fish. Very nice fish. There you go. Now stay there for me. Thank you. All right. <laughs> you weren't going to lose this fish for nothing, buddy. Careful. Careful. <laughs> Hold on. All right, good job. Let's sit her back. Put tape measure on her. Yeah. Want me to help you? If you could. Okay, hang on a minute. Nets up here, so just slide her. Need the end of your tape. 